Hey guys, Dave the Watchman here coming at you with another watch video. Um, today it's going to be how to remove the back of a watch case if you need to change the battery or you need to get at the insides of the watch. I'm going to go over how to do that. I, I have a specific tool that I use. Um, but there are some hacks that you can use to get the back off. I do not recommend these hacks because you'll have to buy a box of Band-Aids if you want to do them that way, uh, more than likely. Or you'll end up in the emergency room getting stitches. But if you've had a hard time removing the backs to these watches, the kind that you pry off, uh, I'm going to show you how to do it in this video. And I'm going to show you how to do it without hurting yourself. So... If you like these videos and you like this, you want this content to keep coming, give me the thumbs up, the like, the subscribe. And uh, without further ado, I'm going to get into the video and show you guys how to pop the back off of one of these things. All right, so now this is what I highly recommend. Um, I have this watch repair kit that I purchased on Amazon. I will post a, a link to it in the description below. Um, so you guys can pick one of these up. It's got all the tools you need to do just about anything you want to do to a watch. Um, and I'll post a link to this in the description below so you guys can actually click on it. It's an affiliate link. It sends a couple of dollars towards the channel. If you buy it, it doesn't cost you anything to do it. Um, so without further ado, let's get going. And I'm going to use the tool that came with the kit, which is a watch pry tool. It has a special edge to actually do this without hurting yourself. Now, when you're looking at the back of the watch, sometimes it's more convenient if you have a bracelet to actually pop the bracelet off, which I can do that too, actually, because the kit comes with a tool to do that. So maybe I'll just do that just to get you guys a better view of what we're doing here. Um, and this, this tool also makes removing the watch band pretty easy, so... Um, Let's get that going here, and I've got it loose on one end, and of course this is a trickier one because it's got the 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 um, rounded edges for the case. But anyway, there we go. Now we've got the watch back of the watch completely exposed, and there we go. That's better. Okay, now we got the back of the watch completely exposed, and I'm just going to show you. Now, when you look around the, the, the watch case, you kind of take your finger and you kind of go along the edge, and then you'll find the notch. There's actually a little notch there, and let's see if I can get a close-up of it. See that little notch right there? That's what you're looking for on the back of these watches. That's going to be your pry spot, okay? So... What you're going to do, you basically just get the tool. It, it couldn't be simpler. You pop it in there. Into that. And just pop it off. And there you go. And that's that's it. That's how you get the back of the watch off. Now, and I, was, I knew this was going to happen. Once you take it off, you got to be careful because you've got a water seal gasket there. And if that water seal gasket gets pinched or does not make it back around the edge of the watch, then your watch is no longer water resistant to the rated depth of the watch. So it's really important. And this is just a cheap quality watch that I'm doing this on because I didn't want to pop the back off of any of my other good watches just for the sake of doing this, this video. So this watch is kind of a lower priced, low quality watch. Now, the most important thing obviously is the gasket. But the second most important thing is you really want to try to put that put that pry spot back to the original place that it was, okay, when you put this back together. So you want to make sure that because you want the logo, if there is a logo on the back, you want it to be centered again. And you want to also make sure that that watch pry spot is in the same spot because that's typically where they end up. They're, they're supposed to end up. So what we'll do here is in the kit, there's also a soft hammer, plastic hammer. So when you get that all lined up, you basically just want to tap around the edges. OK, 
okay and that's really important when you tap on the on the watch to make sure that it's flat on the surface because you don't want to break the crystal and this one's kind of being a pain Still a little bit. This looks like this is being a real pain. All right, and you'll see how the edge is nice and flush and the gasket's in there. Sometimes it takes a little bit. Obviously, it takes a little bit of pounding to get these watches, these watch backs on. But this is also, like I said, this is also a very low quality watch. So the tolerances aren't as good as you would find in a, in a better made watch. In a better made watch, you'd probably just put the back on and be able to press it on nice and tight with your thumbs or maybe a couple of small taps with the hammer but because this is a very low quality case it's going to be a little miss it's going to be a little finicky when you put it back together so anyhow that's how you do it uh now to put the put the case or the uh the bracelet back on the case you basically want to line everything up Again, use the tool that's provided. And you got to have really good vision to be doing this stuff too. Okay, so we got that there. And all right, and there you go. So without this tool, <laughs> try and get that in, in there. Um, okay, so basically that's it. So, like I said, if you guys like these videos and you want to see more of them, like, subscribe, and uh, give me that thumbs up, guys. Um, once again, have a great day, and I will see you in the next video.